Hey, hey, you guys, it's your favorite little keto goofball slash chubby little keto guru, Keto Diamond. And today is day 930 of my ketogenic journey. For those of you who don't know me, that's over a year, two years and a half. And I've used keto so far to lose 144 pounds safe and healthy, get rid of a ton of medications and get rid of 24 medically diagnosed diseases. I weigh in every single day. So please don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, share and ring that bell button. All those buttons, hit them all. <laughs> and I'll show you what I eat every day and weigh in for you every day and give you a little bit of keto knowledge every day and a little insight to my life here and there. Now, all that being said, I help everybody do keto for free because it means the world to me. All you have to do is send me an email with any questions or concerns or visit ketodiamond.com. Everything is written out plain and simple. Every food I know you can eat is over there. A whole lot of good stuff, great information. So go check it out. Now, Let's rant, rave, and misbehave, Keto Diamond style. at 12.30 with a double Whopper, just cheese, mayonnaise, and a slice of tomato. I have 182 grams of fried chicken breast, fried in coconut oil, uh, a serving of Texas Pete, and two servings of Olive Garden Ranch. Yesterday I had two thin slices of this turkey. I just kind of ate, ate it at random. I don't really know why, <laughs> but it's uh, the Oscar Myers uh, natural turkey breast, slow roasted. And I had three pieces of this cheddar cheese and five of these but you know what i don't regret it and i'll tell you why in a minute all right guys so my calories and macros for yesterday 1818 calories 47 grams of total carbs because those uh fat bombs are done in total carbs it's actually much less with net carbs but that's what it is with total 149 grams of fat and 93 grams of protein i don't really regret this day at all it is this is not including my 40 minute treadmill workout where I walked three miles per hour for uh, 35 minutes and then did a five minute cool down. I did, let's see, 1.75 miles, I believe. I'm happy with it. <laughs> so there's an off scale victory for you. Matt had me for lunch and he was able to stick stuff in the seat beside me and I kind of didn't notice at first. And I was like, hey, look, it fits. <laughs> Hey, Miss Angie sent me a box of performance nut butter. I'm going to stick these in the freezer so I can have me some performance nut butter cookies. If you're interested in these, the link are below. I love these, especially in the freezer. <laughs> I just do. Um, they're macadamia nuts, coconuts, and cashews with a little bit of pink Himalayan salt. And I think they are fantastic. First, first and foremost, let me just say this is just a raggy old pickup trick, okay? But I love my old Chevrolet, and, and it is what it is. But I just wanted to show y'all. See, I mean, this is my grandson's car seat. This seat is destroyed, but don't matter. So it's fine. I keep snacks in here for my grandbaby for school. Now, I'm going to bag those little Doritos up for him. And, like, that way when he goes to school, he can eat a snack in the morning. Because a lot of times when we're walking out the door, he's like, I'm hungry. I'm like, well, you still got to go to school to so get in the truck. So I learned to keep him breakfast snacks and different things in the truck. My, my glove box is full of his snacks. <laughs> There's a honey bun there. That's probably going to be Anthony's. I have to keep the wipes in the truck because... Well, he tends to get messy when he eats on the way to school. Uh, <laughs> but there's hubby's protein shakes and stuff. I got to take them in the house. And those raisin cakes are Zach's too. And Anthony's. So, yeah. So, you guys, my journey has been full. Absolutely full of off-scale victories. I mean, 144.4 pounds overall lost. That's a hell of a journey with a lot of victories. I mean, from fitting into my truck better and all the way to this scarf and to that off-scale victory of the seat earlier. This scarf here, I wanted it so bad, and I got it before I started keto. But when it came, it didn't look the same on me as it did the model because it came all the way down here. And I never really thought about it that my neck could be that thick or that my shoulders and chest could be that thick that while I was wearing it for the first couple times, hold on, these tassels barely came booby coverage <laughs> barely it was like this it really was because my neck was so big I had so much chest so much back that it just it wouldn't hang properly but now it looks on me like it did the model on Amazon 
So I was like ill the first time when I first put it on. I was like, it doesn't, it doesn't fit like it does her. Well, duh. But I didn't know that at the time or I didn't really think about it at the time. But I absolutely love these. This was like a freebie a long time ago from Amazon. Um, uh, or did I pay for this one? Anyway, I was doing Amazon reviews for a little while and they sent me a bunch of stuff to test out and try. But I was furious when I first got this because it just didn't fit right. It did not look to me like it did on the model. And that upset me greatly. But it wasn't their fault, was it? <laughs> now I can wear it as almost a shirt. Almost. <laughs> not quite, but almost. Um, but it's beautiful. And it's Valentine's Day. So I thought I would wear it tonight. Um, hubby asked me where I wanted to go. And I think my answer might have shocked him. I want to go get some hot wings. And, and I want to go to uh, the gym. Because I like the way the gym feels. Because i got to be honest with you, I think that 35 to 40 minute workout on that treadmill is making all the difference in my journey now. The 20 and 25 minutes didn't seem to be doing anything. I was just kind of fluctuating up and down, up and down, up and down. And a lot of that was based on what I was eating. But amping it up just a little bit. Uh, going with the recommendation of 30 minutes a day at 2 to 3 miles an hour and, and beyond at 35 minutes to 40 minutes is really wonderful. It really is because I do believe I can get by with more, with more ingredients now than I could before I started doing that. Not that these ingredients still aren't affecting me a little bit, but they are still allowing my weight to go down. Like that ketchup, I do believe before the organic ketchup would have caused a fluctuation up instead of allowing me to go down. And <laughs> y'all saw what I did yesterday, right? Five of these. Now, I ain't gonna lie, as far as products go, this is one of the best keto products I've tried because it actually allows me to stay in ketosis. I can actually lose fat weight and water weight on it. Um, the very first time I ever tried one, uh, the, the, the taste was fine. It's no Reese's peanut butter cup, but the taste is fine. And uh, it's, it's a good, like, chocolatey kind of treat. But the first time I tried one, I was kicked. I was kicked out of ketosis, and I was furious with this company. I don't know what else I ate that day. It's been a long time since the first time I tried them. But ever since then, I've never been kicked by one. I don't know if they changed the ingredients. I don't know if it was something else I ate that day. But, I mean, I've been eating quite a bit of these lately. And i got to be honest with you, they're not affecting me. Hmm. They're a little harder than Reese's, but they're still good. Mmm. They're in there picking and playing if you hear a bunch of noise behind it. Joni, you're triggering people to want chocolate. Stop it. Mm. That being said, sorry, <laughs> this is not a mukbang video, I promise. <laughs> yeah, I know everybody just loves that sound, don't they? Well, anyway, the reason I bring that up, while those are good, if I don't have them, after a few days, I don't crave them. But if I have them and I use them every day, like after a lunch or a dinner, or even like I did yesterday, I will crave sweets and chocolate. It's like if, if I don't have them for a day and I just finished lunch or something, my brain goes, I need some, I need some peanut butter fat bombs. I, I need some, I need some Lily's chocolate. I need, but guys and dolls, here's the trick. If you let go of all sweets, all keto sweets, all fat bombs, all that stuff, those cravings completely go away until you have one again. So while I do use them, while they are keto friendly and while I can lose on them, I don't recommend them. <laughs> I don't recommend any keto sweets. I really don't because they can cause cravings. And once you have cravings for those, it's not too hard to have cravings for something else very similar to it that might not be as keto safe or friendly. But that is probably... One of the only keto sweets I would recommend if I was to recommend a keto sweet is the Keto Slim Fast Fat Bombs, the peanut butter cup ones only. The other ones all have different ingredients in them, stuff I've never tried that I'm not sure about, but I have heard bad things about. However, these seem to be okay. They really do. Now, I also want to talk to y'all about my St. Joseph's wraps. Now, I've been touching on this a little bit. I've been trying to use them and trying to include them. But while some things are keto friendly, which means you can eat them and stay in ketosis and still feel fine, does not necessarily mean they're weight loss friendly. Now, I love these. I ain't gonna lie to you. Sometimes having a grilled cheese sandwich on one of these makes my day on day. Having a homemade pizza on one of these makes my day on day. It really does. However, 
I do find when I use them often I'm stalled. Now if once in a while you just really craving a keto pizza or a pizza that's keto friendly without that cauliflower crap, yes. And if once in a while you're craving a grilled cheese sandwich, yes. Daily, no. And it's the same thing with the mission wraps. Um, I find a lot of people when they talk to me and they're stalled out, they are using these on a very frequent basis. And if they take them out of their diet, their weight will start to go down again. And I mean, there's a lot of other wraps and stuff like that, but these are not really, while they, like I said, they are keto friendly, they still have stuff like wheat and flowers and different things in them that are not necessarily conducive to losing weight very quickly. However, when you get to your goal weight, if you write this down, you can add this to your foods when you are at maintenance or goal and you don't want to lose any more or too much. So that's a great idea, guys. Just have a list of goal foods that you can eat and um, not be affected. You know what? The, I, I do wish that they would put these in a Valentine's Day box. I mean, 14 of them for $10, but how much do you get with those $10 boxes of candy at Walmart? And these, you could give it to your keto friends or your loved ones, and that would be their Valentine's Day chocolate, you know, so that would be awesome, but they haven't done that yet that I know of. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get to my weigh-in, but I'm going to talk to you about my blood pressure and a couple other things right after, so check this out. Y'all saw what I ate yesterday, a little nervous, deep breath, here we go. Well, I ain't mad at that. <laughs> so yesterday I weighed in at 167.6. Wait, no, 168.2. I weighed in 167.6. Today, that's 0 0.6 down. And considering that was pretty much keto junk food, and I went down like that, I'm perfectly happy with it. And it's why I kind of want to go to the gym every single day. Uh, even if hubby don't, I really would like to. But if he doesn't, there may be days I miss. Because the membership's in his name. But I want my drink and it's empty. Mm. Anyway, I have to fill it up a minute. Let me show you my blood pressure now. Pressure 106 over 72. If that back, For those of you new to me, blood pressure is a 12-year problem. It's the one issue so far since I've started keto I have not gotten rid of. Every other medically diagnosed disease, including blood cancer, diabetes, everything else is gone. Okay? That's the one thing that's holding on. And for the vast majority of people, your blood pressure will go down also on keto. So you need to keep an eye on your numbers so they don't go too far. However, now, back about a year or so ago, maybe even two, I posted a video how I cured my blood pressure one day. And I thought what I had done was had been dehydrated and drank plenty of water and it went down. And over the last few months, I've been kind of up and down in my blood pressure. It's been crazy high, crazy low, kind of in the middle, kind of good, kind of bad, all over the place. But I've noticed a common element, and I'm going to run an experiment on it. There's one product I use that really seems to be the reason my blood pressure goes down and stays at a good level. And if that's the case, perhaps I can get off the fluid pills and the blood pressure pills. So I am on lisinopril. I think it's a 40 milligram pill. I am on 25 milligrams of hydrochlorothiazide, which is a water pill, a fluid pill that helps you flush out fluid. Um, but there's a product I use. It's in my hand. I'm going to show it to you in just a minute. And I used it back a couple years ago too. And I'm wondering, and like I said, I'm going to do an experiment on this. I'm going to try to use it every day for a week, keep an eye on my blood pressure, because I also thought maybe the working out helped, but I also added this back in at the same time. So, this is it. This is D3 K2 in MCT oil. It's drops. Now, this product is below if you want to get it. I do not um, have an affiliate thing with them. I do have an affiliate with, with Amazon with this, but it's only like a couple cent kickback, so I'm not doing this to make money. I use about the end of the dropper full. I put it under my tongue, let it sit for 30 seconds, and I swallow it. Now, D3, y'all all know what that is. That is the sunshine vitamin. We are all almost deficient in it, and we almost all need it badly. It does a lot for your body. The problem is a lot of D3 causes calcium to build up in your joints and arteries in places it don't need to be. You will get stiff like a pipe in there, like a lead pipe inside of you. And that's a lot of times what causes a whole lot of heart issues. It really is. But the K2 
takes calcium out of your joints and arteries and puts it in your bones and teeth where it belongs. So those stiff arteries and bones can feel better and your body can heal more. I think this is the reason my blood pressure is down normal when it is. So again, I'm going to try to take this every day for a week, keep an eye on my blood pressure, and then stop taking it for two or three days and monitor my blood pressure. It may or may not be the thing, although I do have a D3 deficiency and you shouldn't take D3 without K2, which is why I take this one. And again, it's linked in the description below. I love this stuff. And by the way, this like this bottle is like $16 to $18. This bottle lasts like six months or more because literally every single drop is one dose. Now I take about seven drops, which again is about the, the tip of the dropper because that is the recommended daily amount for both D3 and K2 that's in this bottle. So <laughs> I like this and I think it helps a whole lot. So again, if you want to get you some, get you some. If you don't, don't worry about it. But it is one of my favorite ones. By the way, the MCT oil, that actually helps it absorb into your bloodstream better and putting it under your tongue gets it into your bloodstream better because a lot of times your body doesn't, doesn't utilize it when it goes into your stomach. These vitamins, some of them need to be into your bloodstream. So <laughs> sorry that's why it's important that way and that's why I went on a search for that that is the second bottle I've had and I've been using it for about two years kind of on and off if I had been using it the whole time we probably would have much better blood pressure issues by now but I don't know yet um all that being said oh yeah you guys remember I hit my head yesterday I've got still a goose egg but it's not purple now it's not like bruised but heaven forbid I accidentally touch it and I forget a lot because I do that I face palm a lot because I have a big family and they're all nuts <laughs> including me. So yeah, every time I touch it, it hurts like hell. It's gone down some though and it's not purple. So my face is kind of amazing. I hit this sucker all the time and rarely do I bruise. I bruise like internally. I can feel it like crazy, but yeah, <laughs> thank God. All right. So I had many of you yesterday, kind, loving, sweet, and wonderful people who know that I'm trying to make it to a keto adapt in March, in March, on March 21st in Georgia. Well, Miss Melanie Hunt, again, has invited me, and she came up with the idea of having a fundraiser. Well, I was going to do a video video for the fundraiser. I don't know if I should do a whole video for it because I don't think that's necessary. I'm just going to kind of mention it every day in the videos until we get enough, and then I will thank. I will do a whole video thanking everybody who donated. Now, I've had quite a few, some ranging from 5 to 10 to $15, stuff like that, and some more. So, uh, it, it is, it's looking good. It really is. I just need, I need enough to make sure I can eat for two days. I need to make sure I've got gas and I can rent a car because mine suck. So, if you would like to donate, please do. My, my PayPal and my uh, post office box are below. And since it's not till March 21st, we got plenty of time for the PO box. So, if you send like anytime soon, it'll be here in plenty of time. Um, that being said, I want you guys to know, I'm not really bumming for money. I mean, I kind of am, but I'm kind of not. Um, this is a trip I would really like to go to. I think it would help my channel grow and it would benefit my life and maybe even make our lifestyle a little bit better somehow. And I get to meet some fabulous people and go on a trip that I've never been on in my life. I've literally never been anywhere but the beach, which is right here <laughs> in our state. So um, I've never been anywhere. And I think this would be a wonderful opportunity. And Miss Melanie, being the, the wonderful person she is, offering to pay for the room and my ticket that is so special and wonderful to me and I just want to make sure I can get there and not be a big imposition on her any more than I already am and I want you guys to know that I'm poor I can't help other people either so if you can't if you don't have the funds or the money it's okay it's 100% okay and I thank you from the bottom of my heart for anybody who wants to and can't I thank you for everybody who just listens to me rant and rave every day uh, <laughs> but for those of you who are donating or are helping I appreciate it more than you can even imagine this is going to be a once in a lifetime trip for me and I'm, I'm just really excited about it I can't wait to go I can't wait to go I want to go so bad yay <laughs> it's it's just I just want to do this. I, I want to do this. And a girl's trip, too. I've never done anything like this at all, except for me and Jelly did go to the Renaissance Fair. And that is forever special in my heart. I appreciate her so much for doing that. Y'all, y'all are a blessing to me, no matter what. Even the ones who get mad at me for doing, like, the little fundraisers or anything like that, you guys are a blessing to me. I really appreciate you hitting the like button, subscribing, commenting, just talking to me and being there with me, or just watching. That's a big help to me, and I appreciate all of you so much. And very soon, I hope to be able to do that video to thank everybody. This is going to be awesome. <laughs> anyway, guys and dolls, 
Are you going to Keto Adapt? Are you in Georgia? Would you be interested in a meetup? I know Miss Melanie uh, spoke about possibly a meetup for Keto um, after the Adapt meeting or something like that. I don't know. That's, that's her thing. I'm just along for the ride. But are you from that area? Are you going? I'm curious to who's going to Keto Adapt in Georgia. Um, who all I might meet there. <laughs> this is going to be fantastic, I hope. So, are you going? How are you doing on Keto? Are you still doing good, good on Keto? Do you have moments like I do? Yeah, a lot of us do, but it's okay. We're not perfect. Anyway, guys and dolls, don't forget to make your next meal keto. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and ring that bell. Don't forget to look in the description below for great ways to support the channel, including using my Teesprings links to get a great t-shirt I designed that has keto logos and slogans on them. And <laughs> slogos. And um, Shashka bracelets, ways to donate and help the channel and help me get to keto adapt. All that stuff down below. Much love to you guys and dolls. Bye, y'all. Thank you.